Good day guys and welcome back to 72T. In today's video we're going to do a full look on the Fetch TV uh, basically box and this is going to be the Mighty Box. And if you want us to look at the Mini Box we will be sure to do that um, just let us know down below. So we're going to look at all the cool little features that you can do with the box. Um, basically just show you a pretty cool video and this is all going to be screen recorded so it's going to be easy for you to see. So it'll be on the full screen instead of looking at through the TV, it's going to be pre-recorded uh, through the uh, viewing system. So we're going to show you basically a full review on it, basically show you all the apps, how it all works, and also um, we're going to show you the Netflix button on the remote, how quickly that opens, and the apps button, how quickly that opens as well. Okay, so I'll tell you when I'm hitting those buttons to let you guys know. So the first thing we're going to look at is basically the interface. So to get to that interface, all you have to do is basically click on menu. When you click on menu, it's going to open the interface. Now it automatically opens it over to TV. So we're going to actually navigate over to my stuff, just like that. And from my stuff, you've got a few suggested options at the top here. So that gives you a bit of an idea how to do certain things. So that's really cool. So basically one of the options is how to find pin. So you can do all that. You can have a look at all that little tips at the top there. Also, if you go down to my stuff, you're going to see recordings, catch up. Also, you're going to have movies, TV shows, and my media. Now, my media hub is if you've got a USB or something plugged in, um, and you can watch certain stuff from your media device. And we're going to actually show you what that does first, just to give you a general idea. So, as you see right here, one of these is coming from our local drivers through the network. Now, if you've got a local network driver, you should be able to access it. This will be it here. And, um, yeah. So, that's actually not it. That's actually the uh, Fetch TV driver. This is the one down below, the USB driver. Now, that will be locked because on the network it actually has a password. So, it shouldn't let us in. No, that's why it's faded out. So that's what you can do there. You're going to have it for your local network or have a USB plugged in. Now let's go back by hitting the back button. Okay. When you go back, we have more. So we're going to start from recording. So if you've got anything recorded, you can click on your recordings. And as you see, we've got two recordings right here. Actually, I believe... Yes, so they are recordings. Yeah, one of them's a recording and the other one's a recording too. Also, you can go to schedule. And as you see, there's nothing on our schedule list. We're going to show you how to set up a schedule list. And also, we're going to show you how to set up a series tag, which is actually pretty cool. And as you see, we've got a few series tags um, linked up right here. We've got one on B BBC Earth, and then we've got another one on Boomerang. We're going to show you how to do that. And then you got recently deleted. Let's just try to navigate over to that. There is going to be nothing there. Okay, so if we go back, we can go to catch up. Now, catch up is a really cool area to watch all your latest catch up um, content. Okay, so this is going to, because this is my first time opening this, um, it's going to give us a few prompt options to go through this. So if we click on catch up, what it's gonna say, there's nothing for me to catch up at the moment, so we won't worry about doing that one at the moment. What we will look at is movies, so this will have all your stuff from, so you got my movies, which we'll just navigate. Now this is if you rent movies, obviously, and we're gonna show you how to access movie box as well, which is um, a really cool one to have access to. You got TV shows, so again, we don't own any TV shows, so we won't be able to look at anything there. So we can go back. Now when we go over to movies, this is where you'll find your movie store, so you can start renting stuff, and you can go to uh, your movie box. So we're actually going to go to the movie store first, show you how that all works. So this is your movie store. Now you have to pay for this, and this will either come out of your um, Optus account, so if you've got Fetch by Optus, or if you've got Fetch by Fetch TV Direct, it'll come out of your credit card if it's Fetch TV Direct. If you're doing this on Optus, it'll come out of your Optus bill. Okay, and this is basically all the movies you can rent. And the prices are pretty reasonable, especially when you compare it to Foxtel. Now this one, for example, is going to be to buy the movie. So that's why you keep it. You keep the movie for $17.99. Again, that is SD, so we can back out. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back on that. And again, another one, if you want to buy, it's going to be 24 for SD. Now, I'm not too sure why it's an SD. It's a bit bizarre that arm. Um, And this is an SD and again we can rent uh, and I've got one free rental as you can see right there so if you hit get it's going to tell you the two options the buy now version and the rent version so keep that in mind as well so if we go back so that's basically everything out of TV shows now you can go up the top here and go through all the different ones I like going to all that way when you go to all you'll have all your great movies that you can take a look at um, so this will have new movies, old movies, and you even get some deals for 99 cents. So as you can see right down there, for 99 cents you can rent a movie. And for this one you just go across. So you go across on the right, and it'll show you uh, more movies. Now there's a lot of movies by the way. Um, I don't know if you can see this, you can see 15 of 9,000 movies, which is quite a lot of movies that you can um, rent. So let's go back. Now don't hit the exit button because um, that sort of complicates things. Try not to hit that button. So we'll hit back again. And now we're back on the main menu. Now, so what we want to do from here is go over to Movie Box. So we'll open up Movie Box. Let's open that up. Okay. And from here, these are everything that's included for the month. So every 30 days, they added some brand new movies. They're not always brand new, but they are new movies. So every 30 days, you'll see a new catalog of movies right here, which is pretty cool. So we've got, we're gonna actually start with all movies, just to make it simple. And as you see, we've got Journey 2, we've got San Andreas, a lot of movies with The Rock in it, I've noticed. And again, you just gotta swipe, well, hit the arrow onto the left, and you're gonna see um, it's three or 30, Then we'll go to the next page. And as you see, there's quite a lot of movies you can start watching and they are all free. So if we click on something, now you have to download it, keep that in mind. So just say we're gonna watch this. We can hit start and it will begin downloading. Okay, so that's how easy that is to do. Now, it'll say at the top, as you see, starting downloading, and then it's going to give you a time right there. So as you see, it will start playing. Basically, it's ready to play now. And all you have to do is hit the blue button. So that's how easy that is to do. So let's go back. And basically, that's basically everything in the movie box. Now, there's more you can look at. Again, every 30 days, they update the movie box to give you a bit of an idea. Okay, so we'll go back to that home menu, and as you see, we can look at car slash crew. So what does that do? Well, that's going to allow you to look at different casts. Now, a big picture will come up in two seconds, and this will give you a few actors that you may want to click on, like Adam Sandler. So if you click on Adam Sandler, it tells you 32 movies are available, um, which is pretty cool. And you can start um, watching these. Now, these are all rentals. Keep that in mind. They are all rentals. So as you see, you've got to buy for $8.99, including the free rental if you've got one. And it tells you what company owns it, so this is owned by Universal. Okay, so that's basically everything right there. Let's go now over to, let's go to the home screen. Let's go to TV. So we're gonna show you what you can do in TV. So in TV, this is gonna allow you to access TV Guide, Top TV, also the TV store, um, also your catch up, and again, you've got your, um, basically your Optus Sport, so you can look at that too. So we're gonna look at all these options briefly. We're gonna briefly look at the TV guide, then briefly look at TV shows as well, just to give you a general idea. So as you see right here, um, when we open the TV guide, it's gonna show we're on MTV Classics, and we can easily scroll through all of the channels that we have available on our Fetch TV box. As you see right there. Also have other channels that aren't real channels, and that's gonna be like, it'll have YouTube, Netflix, and all that. And you can just click on that and it'll automatically open the application for you. So that's how that all works. Now let's go back to menu, and let's get all that back up. 
So yeah, very easy to do. Now let's go over to our um, the top shows. So let's have a look at all that great stuff. So these are all everything that you can watch. So basically you, you're most popular. Basically ignore that. I don't know why that error keeps coming up. Also, we've got uh, movies on TV. So this will be interesting what's under that. Right here. Also, we've got our drama. And we've got comedy. Okay, and we've got sport down here. I don't know why that error keeps coming up. Um, as you see, we've got all the great sports stuff that you can take a little look at by scrolling through all that great stuff. Okay, so let's go back. And now let's go to the TV show store. So let's take a look what's under there. Now we'll see if that error comes up again. So I'm going to hit the green button so that doesn't come up again because that is quite annoying. <laughs> so basically, we're going to show you uh, the popular. So you've got Game of Thrones, Big Little Liars, The Walking Dead. And again, go over to the right hand side. You can look at all that great content there. Then you've got Try First, which we're going to take a little look at that as well. Okay, so we'll load over to Try First. Okay, and you've got quite a lot of great content um, right here. You've got Manifest, which I highly recommend you go watch that. Uh, that one is really good, and it'll show you where to watch it. So this should tell us to go watch it on 9 now. Let's go see if it will. Okay, interesting. They want us to purchase it, so they actually don't show it's available on 9 now. Okay. No, they don't show. So that actually is available on 9 now. So you can purchase it through Fetch or you can watch it on 9 now. So I would have thought they would have option, um, offered that right there, but they didn't. That's a bit interesting. And basically, we're going to just go back to the menu. And we're going to click on Catch Up. Now with Catch Up, now this is what I was trying to do on my stuff and I realized why it's not working now. So by clicking on catch up, this allows us to catch up on 7 Plus, 10 Play, um, Basic iView, 9 Now, SBS On Demand, Discovery, all that great stuff. So we're not going to look at all of them. We're going to look at Discovery and we are going to look at BBC first to make it a little easy. Okay, so if we go to Discovery, we're going to get a few different options of content that we can watch. So you got Top Gear down there, wait for the picture to load up. Also you got a few other great content. And again, go over to the right hand side and you go to the next page. Right there, so very straightforward how to access your content right there. And by going to BBC First, it's gonna be a very similar option. So now we'll just open BBC First. And this is all the great content available on BBC First that you can explore. And lastly, we've got Optus Sport. So we'll just wait for Optus Sport to load up through. And this will give you quite a lot of um, content right here. Now the great thing with this, you can actually look at live and upcoming, which we're going to show you how that all works. So by going to it, hovering over it, it's going to give you a time and date. So as you see, it will tell you the time and date of every game available on Optus Sport. Again, you can click on replays. So by going to replays, that will show you all the replays that are available, similar to what KO does. So now let's go back and go over to apps. So 
So by going to apps, you're going to have Netflix, Stan, Tenal Access, and if you want to click on more of them, you can just click on all and it'll show you a few others available, like Hey You and so on. So as you see, Hey You is all in there as well. Now, we're going to just back out of that and we're going to show you what happens if you click on the apps button on the Fetch TV remote. So if we click on the apps button, it automatically opens it just like that. Pretty fast, isn't it? Same as if we open Netflix. Let's click on Netflix. We'll just get out of this. Click on Netflix and click. Wow, that's how fast it opens. So that is quite incredible how fast Netflix opens on the box. Now let's go back. We'll hit exit for this one and we'll click on menu. So that's basically all the apps. Now we can go to manage. So what does manage do? So this is where you can look at your subscription, your messages, and you Good day guys, my capture card just turned off. So what we're gonna do is go up to manage and go to subscriptions. And basically when we click on subscriptions, this will give us a bit of an idea what you can subscribe to, how much it will cost, and basically so on. So let's open that up and um, then we're gonna show you settings because it's really cool, a few settings that you can change over there, which some of them I do recommend. But let's open up subscriptions first. So as you see, you've got subscriptions here. So you've got the ultimate pack, you've got Tenel Access, Optus Sport, BN Sport, Eurosport, and you've got heaps of that great stuff if you want to subscribe to that through Fetch. Now keep in mind, if you're through Fetch Direct, you're going to be charged via credit card, and if you pay through Optus Fetch, you'll be billed to your Optus bill. So keep that in mind as well, okay? So as you see, there's quite a lot of packages that you can take a look at. So now that's what we want to do is go over to our messages and basically show you basically how to delete messages and just show you messages in general. Some of them are from your ISP, so some of them are, but most of them are from uh, failed recordings and so on. So you can easily delete it by clicking on the little pour button um, right there. So no one has OK, just click on that and a delete message will come up on the screen which we'll just wait for that to pop up. And then we just want to click on delete. And that is done. Okay, and now just one other option we want to do is go over to settings. And then we want to go over to audio and I'm going to show you exactly why to go to audio. Now, if you've got a 4K TV, definitely do this, but if you don't, don't worry about it. The only reason I recommend going to the setting because the Fetch TV, when you first um, set it up, it defaults on 720p. You want to update that to 4K so your Netflix will work in total 4K. So keep that in mind if you're wanting your Netflix in 4K, go into your settings and change that one. So that's been all changed so we can go back and now we'll show you some other options that is really cool that you can easily muck with. Now I've accidentally hit exit so let's just get that menu back up and we'll show you some other settings that is really cool um, to change on your Fetch TV box. What I find works really good. So go over to user down the bottom there. When you click on user, you want to go over to streaming. Okay, from there, what you want to do is make sure you have three channel at six megabits per second. Keep that on six megabits per second and then back out. That way I find the channels do run a little bit better. And then we want to go over to channels. So click on channels and basically you can delete channels um, by hitting hide or you can put it to my channels. Also, you can go to IP channel test and this gives you a bit of an idea how well your internet is to run these IP channels, which is pretty cool that you can have a look at and muck with right there. So now let's back out of that and now let's try and set up a um, series. I think it's called a series tag. And we're going to show you exactly how to set that up and it's very easy to do very straightforward and it's a little bit different if you're used to foxtel or any sort of set top box it's a little bit different on how you do it so what we want to do is open up the tv guide and actually first we're just going to show you how to um delete a recording okay not too sure what happened to the fetch there okay so we'll do the link series first so uh by doing the schedule tag, just click on the record button and a little R will pop up. Okay, see the little R? Then if you click it again, so if you double tap it, it's now going to have like a star. That means it's under a schedule tag. 
if you just tap the record button once, it will only record the one episode. But if you want it as like a series, you need to do a schedule tag, which you double click on the record button, which is very easy to do. And we'll do it again for this one, um, the Thursday Night Football. And that's basically all done. Now what we're going to do is go over to our recording list and show you where to find that. And that's going to be just added under my stuff. So we'll just scroll down over to that. Go to recordings. And then if we go to schedule. So as you see, you've got schedule and you've got um, tag, series tag. You're going to see it right there. Now, if we delete what I was trying to show you before, if we delete something, it's going to pop up in recently deleted. So we're going to just delete the first one, the one that was done on Wednesday, the 10th of June. So we'll hit the red button to delete that. A little option should pop up on the screen. Done. And then we go to recently deleted and we're going to delete that there by clicking on the red button as well. So that should pop up any second and we are done. And that's basically how you do your link series um, known as schedule tag. Very easy and very straightforward on how to do it. And I'm hoping this video gave you a general idea how to use Fetch TV. If you think I've missed anything at all, let us know down below and I'll be sure to update you guys on that. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.